सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल क्लिक द बेल आइकॉन फॉर मोर वीडियोज वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दट इज रीजन फॉर ओवर लैब सो दिस इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट दिस विल बी आस्ट फॉर एट मार्क्स रीजन फॉर ओवर लैब द फर्स्ट रीजन वाई वी नीड ओवर लैब इन दल फोटोग्राफ्स इज to tie the different prints together to tie the different prints so here print is nothing but again photograph only different photographs to tie the different photographs or prints together accurately it is desirable that the principal point of the each print should be appear on the edges of as many adjacent strips as possible that means principal point means again middle point of the photograph means if one photograph having principal point so that principal point should be visible in other print other photograph previous photograph also in next photograph also that should be visible okay so how it we how it work will be like this you can see this in this image see here this is a foot plate right by using leaves see different leaves they have tied and made it as a one foot plate So similarly, what we actually do here, we take the photos like this. Then we tie all the photos to create a big map. Okay. For this purpose, we need principal point. So this principal point in this photograph, principal point will be displayed somewhere here, and that principal point will be bind together. So same area will be matched and bind tied together. Okay. and we tie all the photographs of that area and we make a big map of that area for that this purpose we need overlap one and the second point is the distortions and faults caused by the lens tilt and, and relief displacement are more at the edges of photograph okay the distortions faults caused by the lens tilt and relief displacement so these are the Uh, errors that we can observe on the aerial photographs these are very much greater means very much more at the edges of the photograph if you have overlap is more than 50% these distortions and fault can be eliminated okay so that image also there you can see here in this photograph you can see the on the aerial photograph is there here clouds are there and here clouds shadow is also there so what happens this time this time here the information about the ground is completely taken with this cloud so we will miss all the area informations uh, like this also you can get some blur just also you make it okay that images can be avoided can be uh, overcome if you have overlapped portion so this area cannot be obtained in this photograph in the previous photograph if overlap is there means you can get this area information right for that purpose also we need overlap and the third point is in order to be the pairs of photograph stereoscopically stereoscopically that is 3d only the overlap portion is useful hence the overlap should be at least 50% so last class as i told uh, in order to be a 3d view you need same object two times two images here also if you if it is overlapped means what in the previous photograph also you have same area in the next photograph also you have same area when you see through that one by stereoscope you can get stereoscopic view that is 3d view for that purpose also overlap is very much important that is very much important that should be at least 50% next point is due to overlap of each portion of the area is photograph three to four times okay hence any photograph with distortion faults or any cloud shadows etc can be rejected without the necessity of a new photograph so if overlap is present whatever the distortions whatever the faults any cloud shadows etc can be rejected that photographs can be rejected without the necessity of a new photograph again if you want new photograph means again you need to fly that aircraft that will be uneconomical that's why and the last point is if the flight lines are not maintained straight and parallel the gaps between the adjacent strips will be left these gaps can be avoided by having side lap so in overlap also another type of overlap is called side lap correct in that slide lap also if you are 
see in this image you can see that one so uh, when this aircraft moves like this side it takes photographs like one two three four five six photographs it has taken and when it comes back to the next one seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it like this like this it takes the photograph if the uh, the the length this flight line and this flight line distance will be more so here this area may get be uh, you may leave the area you may leave that area okay in order to acquire that area information also if you have site lab like this okay if you have site lab like this that information also be very useful for the creation of maps so these are the main uh, reasons of overlap this will be asked for eight months